declares a state of emergency as we continue to see drought conditions across the state. Some places even saw five to seven inches less rain than normal. Because of this, rivers, lakes, and streams are all experiencing very low water levels. Crews first responded around nine this morning, but they're not sure how long the fire had been burning at that time. They're estimating more than a thousand acres are burned. Drought conditions are taking a toll on people who rely on wells, streams, and creeks to get their water. All right, so guys, I'm not gonna lie. The trout fishing has been rough in pretty much the entire eastern side of the U.S., especially like the southeastern side of the U.S., because there's been a horrible drought. So as far as why I haven't been releasing videos, there's your answer. Um, luckily, we just had a cold front go through and it produced a ton of rain and my brother was able to get out there and throw some streamers for brown trout and he caught his personal best brown trout. Now guys, this fish is right around 26 inches and it is no doubt the wild brown trout of a lifetime, especially out of the size of the creek that it was caught out of. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let the rain keep coming. Temperatures real quick, guys. Have the water. Ooh, oh. Let's see. It's about 58. Uh, you guys can't really see that, but the temperature is about 58. The water temp, so that's that's pretty good. It's cool enough for all the out to be healthily living in the stream so we're ready to fish now this is the stream I'm gonna use for right now it's a tan oh gosh well let me show you before I say something there we go. it's a tan streamer it's one I tied myself I'm gonna see the tan color starts working for us here. Hopefully it's that. Jump. Holy cow, guys, there's no water here. I've just slipped under that log. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. That's a giant, guys. My net. Oh my gosh, it's a tank. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Need some more line. Need to get some more line. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a big one, guys. Come on. Head up. Oh, it's so hard to be with, by yourself with one hand. I thought I was stuck on the log when I cast. That's a big one. No, 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 no. Need to get it down, need to get it down, need to get it down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come on, bud. You're a hog. I mean, that's like a ego. See, I can't lift it up. It's in there. Got it. I 
gun. Oh my gosh, guys. It's a tank. It's a tank, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that trout. That's a giant one. I got my... Get this guy in the water here. Uh, let me get my... Let me get this off. Just stay in the water, bud. Hey. Got the measuring tape on them guys 26 and the streamer just the streamer just popped out guys too oh my gosh let's get a good look at this guy all right guys look at this trout one more time here guys sorry about that train it's just not passing but as you can see here it's pretty uh shallow and uh just not that great L looking for uh trout so that's why i didn't cast or not cast that's the reason i didn't record when i hooked it but if you can see this log right here i just brought my streamer i just plopped it just pretty much right in front of that log i didn't really think i was i just kind of splashed up to the hole i wasn't even Trying to be quiet or anything. Just popped it right in front of that log right there and I didn't even get a twitch in. I barely even, I popped it once and then it stopped and I thought I was stuck. And then I saw the tail like whip around at the back, uh, behind the log there. And I was like, whoa, is that a trout? Pulled up into it, giant, 26 inch brown. My new PB, biggest of the year, great trout. This is so difficult. There's not even any room to pull back or work my lure or do anything. I just had one on and lost it. Let me get this net out of there. This is a giant hog. Absolute giant. Biggest trout easily. Can't do anything. Just slowly walk backwards, guys. Yeah, slowly walk back. The giant, come on. My line is stuck on a tree. Yeah, it's a big one. Might beat my 
the six incher from the other day. Okay, come on. Not hooked great. Giving up at all, is it? It's time to come on. It's all right, buddy. Come on. Come back a little bit for me. It is not giving up one bit. Giving out. Come on, let's get in the net. Come on. Come on, buddy, don't pop. Don't pop. You gotta give up. Just let me get you. I don't think it's quite as probably 20% hooked. Yeah, it was not hooked very well at all. Skin hooked. Look at that, guys. Popped right out. All right, so that, quick measurement on this guy. Oh, that wasn't recording. Here we go, guys. Let's show you this real quick. I don't know why I turned off the GoPro, but there we go, finally. Pretty good trout. It's pulling. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Here we go, 
you guys look at this. Beautiful looking trout. Oh. They're turning so it's not like. There we go. There we go. Very broad trout. Let's get this guy unhooked. all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, shout out to the kid um he's my younger brother and he went out by himself and caught a 26 inch brown the one day and then the next morning he went out and caught a 24 or 25 whatever it was and a he said the third brown was a 20 I think it looks bigger than that. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. But uh, yeah, he's by himself, he's trying to film it, so I know some of the footage is a little eh, but what are you gonna do? Um, uh, special thanks to uh, Catch Cam Nets for providing the net, and if you want 15% off of Trout Lords merch, go to troutlords.com and use code HARDMANFISHING at checkout. Um, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, yeah, that's it actually. I only have a Twitter for Hardman Fishing Adventures. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next episode.